that big year last year as we get started at Memorial Coliseum. Kentucky with the first possession there in their whites. Murray State in their navy blue and gold on defense. Murray State, they're, they're jumping out into a 2-3 zone, just trying to contain Kentucky, keep them in front of them. Benton kicks out to Blair Green, and the ball hits the ground. Nice block out on the first possession for the racers. The starting lineup, Hughes Turley, who's actually played for head coach Rochelle Turner. Now this is her 11th season. We'll talk more about that in the game. There she is. Rochelle Turner was a head coach at Murray High School for 21 years before going one and a half miles over to Murray State, and that's how she ended up coaching Macy Turley. Now, this her 11th straight year coaching Turley. It's just an amazing story. Wow. Co coach Turner said, "Go. this is the last year. I, I try not to get sentimental about it, but after coaching her all these years, she's like my daughter. She pulls up for a jumper there, rattles in and out. And, and you can imagine the relationship between coach and guard. That one gets away from Robin Benton. Benton, Green, Walker, Shear, and Leveretter gets the start. Sanders Woods sets everybody up. Shot clock winding down. There's Caitlin Young. You gotta find her. Wherever she is on the floor, you gotta find her. I know she missed that jumper, but that was too open. She's gonna knock those those shots down. Maddie Shear, number 22, the transfer from Oregon, the Kentucky native. And the nice shot by Jada Walker. Jada Walker trying to bounce back. Got a bunch of shots off. She's a tough competitor. Uh, that's nice not pass happen in. To Young's going to draw so much attention that the guards are going to have to be ready to score because Kentucky's not going to, not too often, let Young get an open look. All the way to the hoop. I like her size. I like her ability to use her hands on the defense. Never read her in traffic, and it's been tough in the early going for Kentucky. They're one of their first five. Nice pass to set up Caitlin Young inside. Maddie Shear sometimes runs the point. Jada Walker sometimes runs the point this year for Kentucky. There's Walker from the corner. Another miss for the Wildcats. Perry, or Penny, excuse me, she misses. Another miss by Leveretter, and it has been a lid on the basket for the Wildcats early. God, they're getting great looks, great second chance points, just not finishing. And Jordan Hughes knocks down the trail three-pointer, and Murray State with an early 9-2 lead. Not the start that Kyra Elsie's team wanted to have after they're trying to bounce back from that loss against Louisville. Just Kentucky struggling to score right now. They're, Murray State's making them have to hit jumpers. Out of the media timeout, Murray State with the ball. Nice steal. Stepping into the lane is Walker. And turnovers have been Kentucky's demise. They just settle down. Make the easy pass. You don't have to make a great pass. Make this simple pass. Murray State, Holly, not showing any sense of being intimidated here on the road. No, they, they, nothing do you hear, always nothing to lose. They have nothing to lose. They're, they're a mid-major, um, and Kentucky's uh, SEC to school, Kentucky's Kentucky. And I, I love Belmont. Listen, Northern Iowa, it, they're such a well-coached team, and they always are at the top, and then you've got Drake, and you just go down through the, that is a tough conference mm -hmm. in Illinois State as well. At LSU her first two years, and real, really, Holly, limited time at LSU, but she's kind of found her, called her the X factor. She's a great rebounder. Mm -hmm. Shoots a high percentage shot, so doesn't really stray away from. Time winding down in the first quarter, about 30 seconds to play. Wow. Young can do it from anywhere on the court. Yeah, yeah. She just set that up. They drew towards the baseline, just reverse pivot and kicked it out to Young. And you got to know where Young is. And, and you, when she has open shots, Brenda, she's going to make majority of her up. She shoots 52%. Under 10 seconds in the first quarter. 
The pull up way too long for Emma King and then a rebounding foul called on Addie Yeye. So you see that you see Tully penetrating reverse and, and Young just just spots up. That's that's a great shot for her. A great a great looking uh, three point shot. Murray State with the 14 to seven lead through her senior year. She played at Murray High School. Now she's playing at Murray State. And as we mentioned earlier in the game, she gets a little sentimental thinking about that this is the last year looking out at Macy Turley being her her guard, her point guard at times, her off guard at times. It's been a special relationship. To start the second quarter, Maddie Shear with the three-pointer. Go ahead and wrap that up, Holly. Absolutely. I was just going to say that, that Turley's just been an extension of, of Coach Turnell forced her to hurry up just a little bit so Kentucky with a chance to cut into this lead a little bit more and Maddie Shear she's stepping up she's hitting big shots and hey keep going to her she's the one that's scoring right now too strong off the backboard and Young saves it in to McKay nice pass there's McKay this fundamental go under bounce pass lead the shooter to an easy bucket. Nice pass. There we Beautiful go. hook. Yeah. To score the basketball. Picked off Kentucky. Cambridge doesn't have numbers. Penny slicing. We are, and if Missouri's going to, they shoot the three. And I tell you, Illinois is having a great year. Shauna Green's really to the free throw line. Yeah, that's her second. And the minute, Brenda, I say that Murray State's not on the, getting on the boards, they've had two two offensive rebounds. Transition buckets, and so they just, Murray State's just wants to Kentucky have to work for every shot they take. And that's going to be called on Jada Walker. After she had the ball stolen away, she grabbed the arm of Sanders Wood. Just took it away, and they just got just got tied up a little bit. So what does Kentucky need to do right now? They they have been basically playing from behind since being up two to nothing at the beginning of the game. They've been playing from behind this entire game. I just think Kentucky's got to stop turning over the basketball. They have eight turnovers right now, and that's just opportunities they've missed to get good looks at the basket. I, I think they're playing solid defense. Jada Black to the free throw line, and, and this was a huge problem in that loss on Sunday. Louisville was 33 of 39. Shear with the rebound. Benson scoops it up. Petty with the rebound. Getting great looks. Benton scores it from three point. That's the second three pointer of the game for Kentucky, and it draws them within one. Yeah, I love, they just scramble, and Kentucky's keeping the ball wide with offensive rebound and good for them, and kicked it out and got a wide open three and, and then knocked it down. All the way to the Kentucky led in this game two to nothing, but since then, Murray State has been in the lead of this game. They missed that one. A chance again for Kentucky to slice this lead. Inside to Petty, and he gets it. It's a one-point game. Yeah, rebound and run. That's what Kentucky's so good at. Rebound and run. Young rips it through. She's got a two-on-one up high to Black. Young. Gets the put back. And a timeout called for Kentucky. Make a decision. Are you going to shoot outside? You know, when they do, Murray State's done a good job of boxing out and just allowing Kentucky one shot at the basket. Caitlin Young stepped out of bounds, so Kentucky gets the ball back. And Russell, and then fouls Russell there, so we'll see if Rochelle Turner will send her to the bench. Russell did a great job of elevating and uh, gets two free shots at the free throw line. So Young doesn't get taken out of the game because 
of the missed free throw. So she just exactly, getting, yeah, she's a scorer. She goes, I, I know I'm going out of the game. I'm going to go get my points. We start with Nickel State, Mississippi State at 1 Eastern, followed by Temple and Ole Miss, and ending with Winthrop at LSU. For the last two minutes of the quarter, can Kentucky now take the lead with Young on the bench? They're giving up a lot of size, too. Uh, Hughes comes in 5'8", and, and putting a lot of size in. So McKay had to go in and be the, the anchor inside at six foot. Turley too strong. Another offensive rebound and all by herself. Jordan Hughes gets all the way to the rim. One minute to go in the first quarter. Benton, no. Murray State with a two for one opportunity here if they hurry. Ball on the floor, two seconds, one. If they get a tip here, that's a huge play. The buzzer, <laughs> oh my goodness, what? there's a lot of confusion on the court right now. First of all, the clock started before anybody even touched it inbounds. And then the yeah. buzzer went, and then Kentucky thought the quarter was running out. So a lot of confusion. Look up, see the clock here. Got a touch. Yeah, it started before anybody touched it, and then... I guess the player just saw the shot clock at one and thought that uh, that was the game clock. Clock yeah, that was the shot clock. Yeah, that was the shot clock for Murray State. They had an opportunity with the held ball when they were about to have a shot clock violation. Anyway, Mur Murray State has the ball as the clock ticks down for halftime here. Turley off the window, no. But Murray State is going to go to the halftime locker room up 25 to 20. It's the fewest points in a first half. Kentucky's missed 20 shots. So Kentucky has five may has has five offensive rebounds. Well, there's 15 shots right there that Kentucky didn't get. So they got to get hard on the boards, get easy looks, get easy putbacks and easy opportunities. Kennedy Cambridge is getting the starting nod for Kentucky here in the second half. And a, a turnover for the Wildcats. I think Coach Ailes is just looking for a spark off that bench. Big shot as Hughes, Black, Turley, Sanders, Woods, and Young starting the third quarter for Murray State. You just can't let, you can't let Murray State. This experience, we talked about the fact that Turley has played for coach for 11 years. They go inside of Murray State. They're just not turning the ball over against Kentucky. Uh, and Kentucky's bringing the D. They're just making the easy pass, bringing the passing away from the defense and just taking their time, not in a rush. Kentucky is not speeding them up, and that's what Kentucky, Kentucky usually does. They speed up the offense. Want you to get into a hurry. Nice ball reversal. But Kentucky has never been able to tie it since that first lead of the game. Yeah, and, and good solid look for for Kentucky. And here's what Murray State's going to get. They need we need to watch Brendan because turnovers have really hurt them. It hurt them at Austin P. They're up by 20. They started turning the ball over, and right now Murray State has has had about two or three turnovers in a row. And the score at the basket, we'll keep an eye on Young went to the bench at 7.56. Murray State had the 30 to 24 lead. We'll see what they're able to do with her on the bench. Quick reversal. They don't know Billy Moore. They need to know. They need to know our history. Mm -hmm. And it started with Billy Moore because she put women, helped put women's basketball on the map. She most certainly did. And when she coached Cal State Fullerton to a championship, I, I, Caitlin, go ahead. Go ahead, Holly. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think, I'm not sure she should cut that. I'm being a coach right now. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Jordan. Get back in there. After being checked out, after hitting the floor hard, so good to see her back in, but she gets the push off offensively. Petty going to work inside against Young. <laughs> scores the basket. Can Kentucky get on a little bit of a run here? Just so smart. Young has three fouls. What does Kentucky do? Goes right after him. Petty just catch, turn. Young just had to stay straight up and gets the bucket. 
by more than nine points, but Kentucky just has had a really tough time with Murray State here on their home court. All right, possession arrow, Murray State. I think, I excuse me, I think she was out of bounds. I don't think it was a held ball. I think it was uh, called out of bounds on Kentucky. Reset with who's on the court for Murray State. Hughes, Black, Sanders, Wood, McKay, and Burpo. There's Sanders, Wood right there just penetrated. I'm not sure she was even. Tyler, the freshman, picked up the foul. Sanders, Woods made the first. A great free throw shooting team on the year. As a team, they shoot 82% from the free throw line, but they're just four of eight here in Lexington. And free throws, you got it. Those are you just wonder if they're going to affect uh, Murray State down the down the towards the end of the game because they shoot a usually shoot a high percentage of free throws. And uh, they're only shooting 50% right now. Hughes into the paint. Big step through. And it's just remarkable that Murray State has had Caitlin Young on the bench most of the second half. She had such a great first half with 10 points. She's their leading scorer. Robin Benton out of the timeout. Cuts the lead to six. And here comes the full court pressure. Can they force some turnovers here? This Murray State team's done a good job of taking care of it tonight. Yeah, they really have. And, and that bucket led to, to pressure, and now the shot clock's down to 15, and Murray State's got to work to get an easy look. But that, Murray State doesn't get rattled. They don't speed up their game too much. Hughes off the source. Hughes is 6 of 7 from the floor, 3 of 4 from three-point range, tying Murray State for their largest lead of the game. If, if Murray State scored, that would have been a, a tough for Kentucky. But what do they do? Get a turnover, which looks like it's going to lead to a bucket. Kentucky's making it really difficult for them to get the ball in bounds. The pass ahead, though, through traffic. McKay misses the shot. Kentucky with a rebound. Kentucky has not been closer than five points this entire second half. They've got a chance to cut it to three, possibly two. They miss. Petty gets the rebound, and then a foul called on the rebound. Rebound. Let's take a look back. Look at Petty yeah, on the right side. Yeah, nice call. Good call. But the steal by Kentucky. Sheer right here in the corner. Benton, no. Eddie Aye back to Benton, too strong. Wow. She can't believe she missed it. Two solid looks. Got to get the ball under, across. Under two minutes to play, they just do. And Murray State going to milk this clock. There's a big possession for Murray State right here. Shirley misses. The door is open for Kentucky. They just, they just haven't been able to cut this gap. Curly wide up. She hadn't made a shot all day. Great ball movement. Got to stay in the game right here. She leaves the court with eight points and four rebounds. So they called it on the floor. Kentucky will inbound it. Got to find a way to score here. In a hurry here. Feels like Kentucky's taking way too much time. Sheer? No. No. Oh. Just went, was down and just popped right back out. Now, Marina Kentucky Rimeke. is just indicating what's happening tonight for the Kentucky offense. They're just two of 16 from beyond the arc. Now, Macy Turley at the free throw line. She has had a tough night from the field. She is 0 for 14 from the field. But she is the most accurate free throw shooter in program history at Murray State. She makes the first free throw. 
and she makes the second. Extends the lead to seven, and a timeout called by Kentucky. Addie Yeye to trigger it in. you got to go fast if you're Kentucky. Boy, and this is just an example of this is a team in Kentucky that had Ryan Howard to go to in these situations every time last year. Alexis Burpo to the free throw line. Burpo hasn't scored, hasn't been to the free throw line, really limited time. With the way McKay has played today, she hasn't played as much. 36.8 remaining in the game. Absolutely. A lot of ball screens, just penetrate and kick and just trying to get a shot off. They get the screen for Benton. She hits it. And they're going to make it difficult to get the ball in bounds. So Burpo at the line. Remember, Kentucky has no timeout, so they'll have to inbound it under the basket, off the rebound. Sheer, no. It's just been that kind of night. So Caitlin Young goes to the free throw line. We've talked about how she has not played for most of the second half because of the foul trouble. That's just her first free throw here in the second half. As she had 10 points in the first half, now four points in the second. And somehow, even though... Turley was 0 for 14 from the field, and Caitlin Young was in foul trouble most of the second half. Murray State was still able to hold off Kentucky. Petty gets a a basket there, but it's going to be too little, too late, as Murray State coming into Lexington and pulling off the upset. 